Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Cordant and in this video I'm going to address and show you how to fix an issue that was introduced into Wrath of the Righteous in some patch in the past, which is when you click on a character portrait, there is a delay before the UI actually refreshes or the game registers the click, I guess. So this is something that might not be too noticeable on the video, but right now my game has this problem. So let's see if I can show it here. I'm going to click on Camellia. And it, it takes a little while for the UI to actually update. So if you have this problem, you know what I'm talking about. It is insanely annoying, especially because it can mess up the actions that you are doing. If you also like to shift click on multiple characters, the game sometimes doesn't register it correctly. So case in point, it actually just picked LAN when I shift clicked it on everybody. So it can be very annoying. I have spoken with the Owlcat community managers to try and get this fixed. It's still not fixed. So I am going to show you how you yourself can fix this problem. So the first step is we're going to exit the game because we cannot fix this uh, by using the game options. And I'm actually going to give credit to the person who found this fix. I'm not the person who, who found this fix. I found this Reddit thread over here by Mr. Rocket Slime. And let's just read the post. This bothered me more than it should have. I disagree. I think it bothered you enough. It's, it's very annoying. They have added a 0.3 second delay before the mount click registered for some reason. So to fix it, we want to open a file in our Wrath of the Righteous directory, which I will show in a second, in your favorite hex editor. Don't worry if you don't know what this is, if you don't make sense of these sequences of, of numbers and letters here. I am going to show you how you can fix it without having any additional software or having any other knowledge. I'm going to show it in a simple way how to fix this. So we are looking for a file that will be present inside of your Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, Wrath Data Managed Folder, which is this one right here, Alcat Runtime UI.dll. I have a fixed one here. I just went back to the, to the problematic one so I could show the problem. And I used this website here called hex.it. I'm going to leave the link uh, in the description of the video, as well as all of the other instructions and stuff to use. So this is just something that anybody can use without having to install any other software. And it's also quite simple to use. So what we want to do with this is we're going to open a file and you are going to look for your Pathfinder Rotted Righteous directory. So in my case, it's in C, GOG games, Rotted Righteous. Yours may be in a different location, but just find it. And starting from this location, we have rot data, we have managed, and then we simply look for the file called owlcat.runtime.ui.dll. So we open this file. It's going to update this UI over here. And don't worry if this is gibberish to you or if you think you're in the matrix, it's not a problem. The only thing we have to do here is I am going to leave these sequences of numbers and letters in the video description as well. So you can just check the video description for it. We want to copy this. And then over here, we're going to look for this search for bar. We're going to paste it and we can find next here. And it's going to find the next sequence or the, this sequence in the file. There should be four instances of this sequence of strings. What we want to do then is we enable replace over here by checking this checkbox here and we copy our other value also present in the video description. And we go over here and we paste this one. So 229A99993E 99 on the search bar and then 2200080 bf on the replace bar and what you can do right now is you can just press replace all it will replace every instance or if you want to check that it is in fact for instances you can just press replace it will replace your previous find and it will automatically find the next one so replace again again and again so four times there is no data matching your search criteria we are done we have replaced all four with this all we want to do is save this file. So save as, and you can call it whatever, like fixed uh, uh, rather righteous file. Doesn't matter right now. 
save it into a folder. You're going to get this warning saying, do you, are you sure you want to save this? Because the browser is recognizing that DLL files might be dangerous for your computer. In this case, we know what it is, right? We uploaded it, we changed what we wanted, so it's safe to do. We save it. And now what we do is we open these up. So here is my downloaded file and here is my Rattled Righteous folder. And what you can do in case you want to, you know, for safety reasons, just keep the original version, you can simply rename the existing file and call it something like, for example, uh, backup.dll. And then you take the one you downloaded, you copy it, you paste it over here, and you are going to give it the same name as the original file. So I can go back up here. Uh, so I can... I can just copy this name, go back down, and replace. So it's now called alcat.runtime.ui.dll, exactly the same as the original file. We save that, and you're done. So I'm going to open up my game so we can test that it is indeed working the way it should. And I can actually show you guys that the delay is gone. And hopefully this video will only be useful for a short time and they actually fix this problem in a patch soon, I hope. <laughs> I actually thought it would have been fixed by now, but it's not. Um, but yeah, so let's test it out. So exact same place, but now you will see that it instantly updates every time I click on a portrait which is much, much better. And I, I refuse to play the game with that delay. It was driving me absolutely nuts. So yeah, this is how you fix this problem. Um, so again, I think I showed a way that is easy enough for anybody to follow without having to need any other kind of special software. Uh, it's not hard to do, even if it seems strange. And it, you know, gives you a very big quality of life improvement when you are playing Wrath of the Righteous. So, my friends, this will be it for this video. I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions about any step of this process, leave a comment. I'll try to help out. Just remember that all of the relevant info I will leave in the video description. So, the, the website URL, the strings that you want to search for and replace, everything will be there. But, in any case, if something's confusing, leave a comment. I'll try to help out. And, well, I hope you enjoy your game without the delay issue any longer. If you enjoyed this content, my friends, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I also have a playthrough of Pathfinder Rats Righteous going on in the channel right now, in case you want to check it out. But other than that, I hope you guys have a fun time with the game, and I hope to see you all in some other video. Until then, stay safe, everyone.